go to the court. You go to the court. Uh, the innocent. Jeremiah. Uh, yeah, well, now okay, Jeremiah. You know, you got all these things to pay for, man, because you just win. You're just a mad man. This is a uh, Sirach 36 and 5. And let them know thee, as we have known thee, that there is no God but only thou, O God. Show new signs, show new signs, and make other strange wonders. Glorify thy hand and thy right arm, that they may set forth thy wondrous works. Raise up indignation and pour out wrath. Take away the adversary and destroy the enemy. Make the time short. Remember the covenant and let them declare thy wonderful works. Let him that escapeth be consumed by the rage of the fire and let them perish that oppress the people. Smite and sunder the heads of the rulers of the heathen that say there is none other but we. All right. Well, so most times going to come back and he's going to do all these things. He's going to, he's going to uh, put out the man that oppresses the poor. The man, the one who's going about killing everything, destroying everything, corrupting the ways of the most high. Uh, like I said, like I said at the end, how they say that there is no other but us, or but me. Pretty much Esau claiming that it's him. He's the he's and that he's the one who create or uh, expose everything. You know? And that's another thing, man. Because like we already said, we already said earlier that a lot of all your people, your mindset is not on the ways of the most high. Nobody thinks about the Most High, and everybody says that they're, like it says in uh, Ezra's, how uh, through the Spirit of grace that you abuse it, but by your actions you, you, you're saying that there is no God, you know? The Most High's coming back to prove you wrong, like, like, like you were saying right there, prove them wrong. 2 Thessalonians 3 and 1. Start at uh, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 1. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Yahweh Shabbat by our, by our gathering together unto him. Take that you be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter from us, as the day of Christ is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that, that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worship, so that he, as God, sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. And now you know what holdeth, what withholdeth, that he might be revealed in this time. <clears throat> For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let, until he be taken out of the way. And then shall the wicked be revealed, and the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Right, you know, and like I said in the beginning, be not deceived. The most high, the most, be, and like I said in Galatians, be not deceived, the most high is not mocked. These things are going to happen, and they're already happening. And, and it even said that the, uh, the mystery of iniquity doth already work. You know, it's already being shown, like I said, that over time, uh, how the secrets of Esau, how the hidden things, how the secrets of Esau searched out, you know? Because these things are being made manifest now. There's no more hiding anymore. Now your sins are gonna be revealed, and to the son of perdition of Esau, you're gonna be revealed. You're gonna be and you're gonna be taken out. Like I said, that shall be destroyed the brightness of his coming, with those thermonuclear nuclear missiles. The technology the actually that the most high gave you to create, he uh like, how did they say uh uh that you you create an own that, that your own weapon of destruction, pretty much like, you know, you created this weapon that you wanted to use only for your, because, uh, well, the atom bomb, you created it and you wanted to be the only one to keep that technology. That's why you're destroying all these sites or you're having a problem with, uh, what is it, Japan, or Korea having an illegal third, uh, nuclear site. Because you want to be the only one technology, that, uh, that, that only power. technology. Yeah. You want to be the only one with that power. Yeah, but, but, you don't even realize the most high is giving you that weapon that he's going to destroy you with. Yeah, your own device is what's going to destroy you. Yeah, your, yeah, 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 your own, yeah. Uh, this is Revelations 11 and, four, uh, 11 and and 12. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. In the same hour was there a great earthquake, and the tenth part of the city fell, 
and in the earthquake were slain of men 7,000, and the remnant were affrighted and gave glory to God of heaven. The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. Right. You know, basically, that, like when the chariots come, that's when the, when the chariots get redeem the elect, that's what's going to happen, that America's going to have just be destroyed, man. You know, it's going to be destroyed with the, the missiles and the laser beams by, uh, or the, yeah, the laser beams by the chariots. It's all out destruction, man. And, I, and it's funny how it said that, and, the, and, the, and their enemies beheld it. I mean, they were looking up, you know, wondering, like, what, you know, what, where am I, why don't I get up there pretty much either, you know? Esau, these other nations, you two-thirds, those are going to be you, man, those enemies looking up, because the scriptures say that y'all are, are the enemies of the Most High. They, that they are the enemies of the uh, they are the enemies of Christ. I mean, that's the uh, Philippians, you know, because without this truth, man, you can't, you can't, you're not gonna be saved. And that's funny, and that's funny how like y'all people y'all try to come up with slick ways to try to get your way into heaven or whatever. Or y'all are so y'all are so persuaded by y'all's own <coughs> word, y'all's own uh, uh, y'all's own thinking. That you're gonna be saved when you don't even come in the scriptures, <laughs> or have the, the covering of the spirit over you, man. and don't even know the name. This is Ecclesiastes chapter three, verse twenty-four. For many are deceived by their own vain opinion, and an evil suspicion have overthrown their judgment. Exactly, the evil suspicion has overthrown your judgment. Y'all's 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 discernment is, is deceived you. I don't know. Y'all don't know, man. I don't know what, what the real deal is. But that's why the Lord got uh, uh, certain men out of the house of my way to give you that proper understanding. Because if you if you act like it, it's okay to play ignorant, that's good. That's bound to destroy you. It will destroy you. Even at that, the Most High tells you in a bunch of scriptures of Proverbs how he doesn't how he he, he doesn't have uh, pleasure in, a, in an ignorant man. Stupidity. Yep. Yep. Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strange, strangeness of his salvation. So far beyond what they that they look for, and they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, This was he. We have sometimes in derision in a proverb of reproach. We fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor. How was he numbered among the children of God and his lot is among the saints? Therefore have we erred from the way of truth and the light of righteousness had not shot unto us and the sun of righteousness rose not upon us. We wearied ourselves in the way of wickedness and destruction. Yea, we have gone through the deserts where there lay no way. But as for the way of the Lord, we have not known it. There you go. You know, because you didn't, because all it, that's why you're gonna be uh, looking with a dumb look on your face when the chariots come like being amazed at that strangeness of salvation. Because you didn't, you didn't well, like you just said, you can't play the ignorant card. Just because you didn't know, then there, there's no excuse. Because like, you know, like stupidity, the most I didn't ever create anything to be stupid, man. He didn't create, he, didn't, he, didn't, he, had, he has no pleasure in anything being stupid. You know, but y'all wanted to be ignorant, foolish, see by your own vain opinion, or uh, what is it, uh, so, uh, persuaded in your own mind that you could get, you could uh, get an inheritance some other way. It's not like that, man. That's why the most is gonna have you act, having that mindset. And you're gonna be looking up in that day, wondering why you're not, wondering why you see light, People being beamed up. You know, like you see certain men that you thought that weren't considered to be among that number. But you're gonna see those men. The Lord's gonna make you see those men that you were uh, uh, going against on the highways and the byways. And you thought they weren't nothing. Uh, this is Romans 2 and 11. But there is no respect of persons with God. For as many as have, for as many as have sinned without law shall also perish without law. And as many as have sinned in the law shall be judged by the law. For not the hearers of the law are just before God, but the doers of the law shall be justified. For when the Gentiles 
which have not the law, do by nature the things contained in the law, these have not the law, or a law unto themselves, which show the work of the law written in their hearts. Their conscience also bearing witness in their thoughts, the meanwhile accusing or else excusing one another. Yeah, but the whole point is that, like, you're gonna, whether or not you do or not, you're gonna perish, because you're gonna be judged. It even says another scripture uh, in Luke. It says that uh, that the uh, that the servant or uh, yeah, that the servant that did not know, he shall be uh, beaten with few stripes. But the one who didn't know the will and did and did not or went against it, he's gonna be beaten with with more, because they're both at fault, man. Because what, just saying like we're we're all flesh is uh, supposed to be subject to the Most High. We're supposed to be known. We're supposed to be known. Yep, and we're supposed to uh, be our, his servants. That's why we're supposed to. That's why uh, ask is how it talks about when you exalt the Most High, that a man cannot ever, a man can never fulfill it. No, no creation, no ending. Of it. There's no ending of it, and it's because the Most High created you, man. Like, and, and, and for you to un actually understand that is a beautiful thing because it's a very serious thing to actually be in existence, existing. It's just like when a man and a woman have a child, that that child is supposed to uh, uh, serve their mother and father to their old age. You know, be giving them glory, love, honor, respect until they die. You know, although we didn't create that child, Yahweh Shai had set it up for for it to be that way. But speaking like that, you know. That child is, is, is supposed to be, you know, giving us honor until our dying day. The same way with this Yahweh Shai, Yahweh's creation, we're supposed to be giving them, uh, you know, glory and honor all every day. Servant, being a servant. And, and like, and, and we already know, real quick, the Gentiles, the actual Gentiles, like Esau and all that, and, uh, and other nations, you know, they don't have the law. That's why I said that they would, that, that they that. They that are without the law shall die, or die without the law, or how does it, how does it go? Yeah. Well, you know, they don't have the law. They don't have under. They really, actually, they don't have understanding. But they were created by the same power that all the other nations, eight other nations, were created by. Israel was created by. It just so happens we're, we're the Most High is just dealing on a higher level with us people, with us men. He's given us understanding to how on how to take care of the earth and tell these other nations like, all right, go do this and that. You know. That's why you can't aim. you're not you can't play this the ignorant card. Tells man. you that in uh, it's perfect, man. Ecclesiastes 17. That was perfect how you said it. You can't play that ignorant card. This is Romans 13 and 1. That every let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. For there is no power but of God. The powers that are be, be are ordained of God. Whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resist the ordinance of God, and they that resist shall receive. To themselves, damnation. Right. You know, and if you want, and I remember brought out earlier in Jeremiah that you, if, you know, you want to say to a stock and a stone that you are my creator, you're going to be destroyed for it. Because we know it, man. The Most High created everything you see, and I, and I just pointed out, the Most High, He made, He made you other nations, man. He, he may not like you or when you play your role, but that's just how it is. But He still created you. So that's why, like it says in Luke, that you're still going to be beat because. You know, uh, I remember the brother was giving an uh, 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 like an anal not an analogy, but an example. Like uh, the Most High, he was leasing out the earth to uh, other or to these nations. You know, see who can, uh, you know, like, take care of it. You know, it's it was like if you go and rent a house out. You know, when you rent a house, it doesn't mean that just because you don't own it, doesn't mean for you to destroy that house. You still got to keep up with it, take care of it. But if the landlord comes back and finds a house all ran down, he's going to evict you. So we already know through the Spirit that Yahweh Shai only created the earth for the elect, for Israel. But through Israel's ignorance, you know, and, 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 uh, and stupidity, being a sottish people, they were brought to a low estate, and uh, these other nations were, came up over them to rule the earth. Although we know through the Spirit, they weren't, they, it wasn't created for them to rule, but for that, that's what happened. But those men, those other nations that ruled, they were evicted, they were brought down, destroyed. 
So nobody has been yet found worthy of holding the seal. Only the remnant of Israel, according to the Bible, is worthy. So, you know, a man, like, there, there, there's, there's cases where you can rent a house out for so many years and that, that landlord, that landlord will be like, you know what? You, you, you wanna, you, you wanna just try buying it? I'll sell it to you, since you've been so good of a, a, a tenant, you know? And, and, and if that man, you know, he took care of it, you know, like he helped tell, take care of it, he's like, yeah, so why not? I, I, I put, I lived here these years, this is my home, I want it. Because that landlord saw that man, you know, he's, he's, he really wants it, you know? He takes care of it. What am I gonna be doing, just, just sitting on this house? What if that man decides to leave and then nobody wants to move in? I just get a bunch of bad tenants and it just, it, it just decays. It dies. So I might as well sell it. Right? So that's what Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is doing. He's about to give it back to the elect. That way they can keep it under control and it's going to be rejoiced and, 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 and flourish and, and re, be replenished and bring forth its, 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 its abundance and fully. But right now with the wicked, everything's just suffocating. Everything is just is just being weighed down. Uh, let me get this. This is Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. It says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. Right, it's, uh, like I said, you forgot the law of thy God. You didn't do the things that you didn't. Uh, you didn't abide by the uh, the law. You know? The law is which is able to make you wise. That's the fear of the Lord is beginning of wisdom. Like I always say, what is what is what, what is it that's going to make you fear God? Yahweh. The, the consequences if you go against the law. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 34. Awake to righteousness. What is righteous? The, the law. That's what's righteousness, the law. Uh, awake to righteousness and sin not. For some have not the knowledge of God. I speak this to your shame. All right. And that's why these other nations and you two thirds are going to perish because you don't know righteousness. That's why it's your shame because you don't know how to abide by the law and take take care of the earth. And that's why that's why like brother but I heard in the scripture where it said that when the righteous are in authority, the people uh, the people uh, rejoice. rejoice. But when the wicked are in authority, the people mourn because Esau is the one in authority right now. And he's not taking care of anything. I know that uh, we already know that you can be uh, you can you can just die. Uh, what is it? Starvation. You could die of starvation, man, and nobody would care. It wasn't like that back in the times of, in the times of when Israel was ruling, when everything was back, when everything was ordered. Uh, I know there's a scripture that says that you know to leave, uh, you know, you're supposed to leave like grapes, you're supposed to leave the grapes behind for like if a poor man comes. Esau don't even do that. Esau actually puts up signs if that tr if uh, trespassers will be prosecuted or shot. You know. It ain't even your damn land, man, but you want to put up those signs. And if you do get caught, they, they try to prosecute you to the, he even says, uh, or may be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. No, Esau's not merciful, man. What, I know, what, what is that? Uh, like a sentence, uh, uh, what is it? Is it Romans? Or, yeah, Romans where it said that they're unmerciful. You know? Esau, is, Esau is, a, is a cruel, cruel, cold-blooded man. And then, you know, like Hosea 4 and 1, uh, 4 and 1 said there's no mercy in yeah. the land. Yeah. You know, that's that that's one reason why you should be wanting Yahweh Shah to come back. Yeah. You know, you got here this big, great tree that's symbolic for, uh, you know, Esau's kingdom. And it, you know, it's full of leaves and all that, but it's already dying. It's, 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 it's fallen. The, the, the trees... The, the, the leaves are already falling, it's, it's naked. It's no longer flourishing where all the, the, the birds and the, 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 the things of the, the, the wilderness will come and dwell. I mean, talking about peoples, you know? Got 
7 billion people.